And then he dipped them in glitter. Pretty nuts. Hey, do you guys want a beer? Just wanted to have a quick public service announcement. Friends don't let friends drink out of dirty glasses. You may think what the scene you just saw was funny, but it's no joke. That was like <laughs> perfect. That was amazing. No. Hey guys, all kidding aside, uh, I do want to talk about clean beer glasses today. Now some of you may not be aware how important it is to have a clean beer glass and you'll kind of see as we go through some of the methods that work and some that maybe you shouldn't use. Uh, a lot of this is kind of about our journey of figuring out what works best to keep our glasses clean. Uh, and if you don't care about having the clean beer glasses or not, that's okay. This is not for everybody. For us, we like the presentation and the fact that it doesn't make our beers go flatter because of all those extra nucleation sites that are on the side of the glass. Make sure you stay tuned to the end of our video where we do have a bonus tip for you on how to properly dry your beer glasses. If you like our merchandise such as our beer glasses that we do have custom etched, you can purchase those from our web store. Link is down below. Also, if you like our t-shirts that we wear on our videos, you can purchase those there as well. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first and most common method that people use to clean their beer glasses is just throwing them in the dishwasher. Now, this is a method that really is not recommended, uh, but to be honest, that's exactly what we did when we first started. And when I first started putting glasses in the dishwasher, they came out fine. I had no issues with bubbles or any haze or anything on the glass. However, there is a film that tends to build up the more you wash them in the dishwasher. So by the end of the sixth, seventh, eighth wash, suddenly I started having problems with my glassware. Uh, and that's what led us to try method two to fix. So method two was something that I thought would fix the problem that we had. And you can see how horrifyingly dirty some of those glasses can look. So with that in mind, I'm like, obviously hand washing is the route we need to go. So armed with a scrub brush and some dish soap, I soaked and scrubbed those glasses. And when I took them out and dried them, I looked at them, I'm like, they're crystal clear. The glass feels clean. This is fantastic. Problem solved until I poured a beer. Next thing you know, you see those bubbles, not as bad as the dishwasher, but you still see them clinging to the side of the glass, which was very frustrating. So then I was like, well, okay, let's try method three. So method number three, PBW. My thought process for this was, you know, we brew and I have professional cleaning chemicals that I can use to clean my fermenters and my kettles and the, why wouldn't it clean beer glasses? Duh, it makes sense. So armed with that bit of knowledge, I took my glassware, put it in a tub with the PBW, let it soak for about a half an hour, went to town with a scrub brush, really cleaned it up, dried it, and again, had that nice clean glass but I was very disappointed with the mixed results I got. It was still better than the first two methods, but I would still get hit or miss some glasses with some residual stuff on the inside and some that were better. So it was just mixed results and it wasn't something that really I was looking for. So then I decided to try something crazy. All right, so for this next method, you're using baking soda and salt. And I was pretty desperate at this point to try to figure out what to use. And so basically the technique is you take a bit of salt, you take a bit of baking soda, you mix in water and you get kind of a slurry, like a paste. You then smear that on the inside of the glass, trying to reach every nook and cranny you possibly can. You let it sit for a minute or two and then you rinse it out. The results actually are pretty good. So if you've got a good buildup of things on your glassware, that's a kind of a good way to do it. The problem is, is that it takes forever to go through and manually coat the glasses with this stuff. So were the results good? Actually, yes, they were. Was it worth the time and effort? No. So the final method, and this is actually what we use, is actually using a specifically designed chemical for cleaning barware glassware, specifically kind of beer glasses. You basically take the powder, you sprinkle it in the tub of water wherever you're using. We do use a scrub brush because you need that mechanical action, but we can clean a bunch of glasses very, very quickly. Uh, it dries very nice and there's no spots or anything on the glassware itself. So finding something that is specifically designed for it, and we'll have some links below of the product that we actually use, makes all the difference in the world. We have no issues with any spotting on the glasses. There's no nucleation sites. 
they're always clean, nothing builds up, and that little bit of extra effort that we use to keep our glasses clean are completely worth it. Just a quick note disclaimer, we are not sponsored by, oh geez, what is it even called? Sure. Should I keep rolling? You can cut into it. We are not sponsored by this company, uh, Beer Clean. Uh, they don't, we don't have an affiliate link. We will link it below so you can buy it on Amazon uh, or your favorite beer supplier. But um, this is the product that we use. We absolutely love it and it works really, really well. It is, I wouldn't say on the pricier side, it's certainly not cheap by any stretch, but a container like this will last you years because there's very, very little that you're actually putting in your, your uh, beer water, your rinse water. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of our video. As promised, here is a bonus tip. When you're drying your beer glasses, and I know it sounds a little counterintuitive, you wanna make sure that you're drying them obviously with a clean towel, dry the outside, do not dry the inside. Here's why. Your towels are not as clean as you think they are, okay? There are residual detergents that don't come out in the wash, which is fine for normal everyday use. Additionally, if you're using a dryer sheet, those things have wax on them that are designed to melt in the dryer, coat the towels, and keep the staticky thing from happening. So when you're taking a towel and you're drying the inside of your glass, you're using, using, you are leaving behind some residual film on the inside of the glass, which you worked so hard to remove. So it's always recommended to dry the outside of the glass and then leave the inside to just air dry and always store your glasses right side up. Something else to keep in mind too, if you don't want to use towels and you think you can just use a clean, fresh paper towel, uh, those leave paper dust. They're not exactly clean either. So even though you are drying the inside of the glass with a paper towel, you're still leaving dust and contaminants inside the glass that will create more nucleation sites. It's better just to let your glass air dry. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video on cleaning beer glasses. Uh, I do want to give a huge shout out to Vexet who has been doing a lot of the footage today professionally, I might add. But we appreciate having him. We've had a lot of fun today, JB. I want to give a shout out. Make sure you check out Vexet. Uh, their link is YouTube below. Their YouTube link is below. <laughs> I've had a lot of warm-up beers. It's been quite nice today. But we've had a blast today, JB. I haven't. Thank you so much. He hasn't had a blast or any beer. No, I've had a blast, but not beer. Not a beer, yes. It's, it's complicated. But we've had so much fun. So <laughs> catch you later, my friends. Have a good one, guys.